And I do believe that we have rotten, rotten politics. And I'm, I'm not using that as an exaggeration. Hey, everyone, and welcome. In this video, we're going to be having a look at the EU. I know, the dreaded EU. <laughs> now, this is the first video exclusively on alt media. So thank you, everyone, for stopping over. I do appreciate it. If you've not done so already, follow. I don't think YouTube will be around much longer. Now, in this video, we're going to have a look at the response to the furore over Northern Ireland that the EU have put themselves in, in regard to the jabby, jabby, and the border. Let's have a listen to what she says, shall we? Allow me a word on the island of Ireland. The bottom line is that mistakes were made in the process leading up to the decision. Mistakes were made, she said. Did you hear that? Mistakes were made. I wonder what the mistakes were. Would it be this, Ursula? Possibly the fact that EU officials were on the border to police in Ireland. Is that what you were talking about? Or could it be, possibly be the fact that you used Ireland and Northern Ireland and the possible future troubles there as a political football to not only hurt the Irish, but also claim revenge on the British as a whole, on the United Kingdom? Well, the backlash for that came back and back bit you in the backside, didn't it? Let's listen to the rest. And I deeply regret that. But in the end, we got it right. Did you hear that? They got it right. Do you feel like they got it right, Irish people? Do you? Do you feel like they got it right? Or do you feel like you were used as a political pawn? And I can reassure you that my commission will do its utmost to protect the peace of Northern Ireland, just as it has done throughout the entire Brexit process. I've never heard so much rubbish in my life. You're going to protect the peace of Northern Ireland and Ireland by putting up a hard border. Okay, you obviously don't understand, for one, Irish politics, and for two, anything other than, than inside your own borders and inside your own Brussels. As you can see by that, everyone, laughable, wasn't it? Absolutely laughable. I'm hoping that the Irish people, both North and so South, look at that and see the EU for what they are and realise that it's time for the whole of Ireland, North and South, to be free of the shackles of the EU. If they're going to use you as a political football and endanger the peace process that's happened in Ireland, they should be ashamed, should they not? But I'd like to know your opinion, everyone. Let me know what you think. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to follow it. You, you would be helping me out a, a massive amount, and it does look like the YouTube are going to get rid of me eventually, so it, this is going to be the place of the future. So make sure you sign up to all my alt media and my Gab account. Stay sane. I'll see you on the next one. By the way, my band's up tomorrow, tomorrow so I can get back at it on YouTube as well. Hope to see you there as well.